Telling your only child that they're going to have to start sharing their toys oh, can be a little tricky, <laughs> can be a little intimidating. Um, but uh, going through that process is Kristen Smith. She's doing it right now. Is a belly yes. starting to pop and questions are starting to pop along with them. Dr. T.J. <laughs> is here to help uh, answer right. some of those and help through that transition. So yes. this help is... Me, help me, help me, yeah. help me. I kind of called Dr. J.J. a little frantic because now that my belly popped in four, 16 weeks, that's four months, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, and <laughs> Kingston's starting... That's pregnancy brain right there. Wait, 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 what's going on? <laughs> Kingston has started to notice, and so I'm like, I need a game plan. Like, I, how am I going to introduce them? Do I have enough love to go around? Just all these questions and fears and craziness start to happen. So, uh, yeah, thank goodness Dr. J.J.'s here because show or no show, I called her, and I was like, help me out, help us this out. <laughs> well, Dr. J.J., how do you explain to uh, a mother to help her child understand that a new baby is coming? Well, at Kingston's baby. age, his developmental age is about, is about two. So uh, complicated explanations have no business there. But, but <laughs> see, what has happened is... But, but kids are very observant at two, and they look at everybody in their surroundings. So I told Kristen, when you encounter a baby on the street or a family walking with various age children, you start to point out, look, there's a family, there's a baby, and you start defining the little people, the middle-sized people, whatever. <laughs> right. And and then when, when it came time to him starting to take notice of your belly, guess what? Daddy and I are making a baby so we can grow our family just like the family you saw out there. And you can use books to reinforce yeah. that. Uh, but it certainly is wonderful at his stage to just really talk about a baby, a family. Those are words that kids well, can Well, really we have understand. a reaction. We yeah. have Kingston's reaction to the news yeah. on video. He this thinks is... it's a brand new toy. He's like, tummy, 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 tummy. <laughs> let's take a, let's so take a look. Hear you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, bud. I think the baby's had enough. Again? Again? Yeah. Okay, one more. Yeah. Give your little brother or sister a kiss. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a raspberry. <laughs> this is what his little sister or brother has to look forward to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> again? Oh. Again, again, so again. Cute. Well, now that Kingston understands that a baby's coming yeah. via raspberries yes. on, your tummy, <laughs> on, your on your tummy, how do you get him excited about being a big brother? Dr. He's so how, excited. Yeah. yeah. So the, the thing is to temper being a big brother and still being the first beloved baby of the family. Yeah. Because at his developmental age, if everyone calls him a big brother and that's all he gets, he gets a new name. That's going to be confusing to him. Yeah. There are going to be some times that he's going to be vulnerable and want to be your baby, your first mm -hmm. beloved child. Oh, and he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to not attach that label, but when he's in the mood and he seems to want to help and he uh, picks up something, you know, you want to give him kudos for that. You want to give him yeah. praise for being part of a family. I want to find, uh, first of all, I want to, yeah. I want to ask you, because you had four, but we have a video of you trying oh, to really <laughs> endure. Oh, the, the book. Books yeah. are huge yeah. in my house. Yeah. Huge. Ever since my son was born, I mean, we taught him how to potty train using a book. He learned so much. And he, so um, oh. I'm a big brother. I found this book and read it to him. He loves it and now is like, I big brother, I big brother. Yeah. So it's yeah. a very positive thing. Sure. sure. Oh my gosh, I can't say enough about this. That's How exciting. You? Four though. What, uh, what was four. your process? Well, you know, I have girls, so I I also bought them little babies wrapped in blankets, little dolls, yeah. so that we could like yeah. practice and play together. So they got excited too. Sure. Yeah. But when I first uh, was pregnant with Portia, my last. Now I have big age gaps, so my girls were older. I gave them, like most wives with the husband, the positive pregnancy test. And they looked at it and said, are you joking? Are you lying? Oh my God, you're lying to me so bad. And I was like, I'm not lying, I promise. And she's like, wow, that's really yeah. good. I love that. I'm like, like, right 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 excited to hear it. Bam, done. I bet they remember that. I oh, bet yeah, they remember exactly. that. Well, I just remember I'm screaming like, are you lying? You better not be lying. You better not be joking. Yeah, that's very sweet. <laughs> What was your story with the girls? Well, with Alex, when Ariana was born, I made sure that Alex helped uh, pick out a little outfit to come home in. She helped me dress the baby, and then they put me in the wheelchair. They handed me the baby. Alex went over to it and went, let daddy hold her, let daddy hold her, let daddy. So I gave the baby to Tony, and she jumped on jumped my up. lap. Right. Yeah. And so I, you were talking about let them feel special. They're the firstborn. So mm -hmm. I knew it was important for her to sit on my lap as they wheeled me out. And I didn't get to hold my baby, but I got to <laughs> Oh, Alex, it, I felt if she did that, that was important for her. And I'm so. glad the nurses yeah. 
let let yeah. you because yeah. in some hospitals yeah. that wouldn't happen. Yeah. Sure. I remember totally. my one of one of my kids when she was born, the older one said, Can I hold her mommy? You want to make him feel so important. Yeah. She held him sneezed on the baby. And I'm oh, like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I was like, horrible. it's fine. Take a breath. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the immune system. Exactly. Not the baby. Surely. 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 Yeah, well, you know, I have poor kids. And when my youngest was born, uh, I started to teach her brother, who was about two years older, that he can also get joy from her because we would all compliment the baby and visitors, oh, yeah. she's so cute, as you can see right here, <laughs> all the kids. Aww. And so they weren't that far. So I would teach him to also give her a compliment when, after I would give him a compliment, like, you have such a beautiful smile, Michael. Thank you, Mom. I said, does Maya have a nice smile? And he'd look at her. She does. <laughs> Tell her. You have a nice smile, Maya. And Aww. then they got used to telling each other Feather. compliments to love e teach them to are love these, each other. Doctor, are these all effective ways? They are because, of? I mean, you know, in, in your situation, everybody becomes part of the family. I mean, right. everyone has their own attention from parents, but to get yeah. that individual uh, recognition right. uh, that what you do and what you contribute is important. And the same with your girls. You know, you honored their, their level of maturity mm -hmm. and their sense of humor to show them this and to be right. able to really yes. reveal it in such a mature way. And, and they, dramatics, too. And, they, yeah. and yeah. they probably really appreciated that rather than, oh, guess what? Mommy's having a baby. Yeah. You know, you really Mark, did it in a really cool way. Mark yeah. had an memorable uh, way of uh, introducing Kai to Avery. Yeah, we, yeah. well. Or Avery, to, well, Kai yeah, and Avery. Kai was so older. sweet. But they're so, you know, they're very close in age. I think they're like two days apart. Um, <laughs> Irish no, twins. Yeah. That's <laughs> why. Really no, but so we couldn't tell. Kai was so young, mm -hmm. and when Avery was born, we were going to take him to the hospital. But Avery went into ICU. He had neonatal. And, How old um, was Kai? Kai was, gosh, well, they're they're 18 months apart, oh, mm -hmm. so oh, he was okay. young. Almost. So okay. we brought him home, and I really wanted to have that really sweet moment. It kind of was at night. And I said, why not? Let's just roll video oh on my it. Gosh. And this is the moment that brother met brother. Oh. Come on, let's go see the big brother. Sign. Okay, so <laughs> the attention span of a baby at 18 months is enough. Like, baby, okay, fine. I'm gonna get back to the stick. It's all. He did explain good. that a little. Yeah. Bit. Well, yeah, it was a, it was a bar a thing that we used to prop the doors open. So okay. it was like one of those pegs, but it was just laying there. Oh, and I'm like, there he is. Uh, I'm gonna oh, take him right in the forehead. Yeah. Boom. Now, now what they you, are wonderful. Yeah. What you could have done is had a gift from Kai to or from Avery to Kai. So this is one of the other yeah, pieces. I love of, this tip. I brought my gift. I have the gift ready. From oh. the baby to the sibling. Huge oh. in our house. Mickey yeah. is everything in our house. Right. Kingston is so. This is from the baby for Kingston. And I'm sure Kingston's going to love this little guy or girl. Got Four it. points. Okay, so <laughs> got it. So let's see if I got it right. Thank you. Teddy bear stuff the good, crowbar bad. Not the yeah. best. Okay. 